have you noticed in the power query tutorials when we load there's that option to add to data model that is what we're talking about today but first my lawyer said that I have to give you this warning while you check that out I'm gonna have some bourbon the following Excel tutorial is only for the sexy <gasps> If you are unsexy, unfun, or if you lick your hand and discover that you taste bitter, please move forward at your own discretion. Otherwise, join us next week for our regular thrilling but less scintillating content. Thank you. Those who are remaining, please stand by. You heard the warning. We're all the sexy people now. Let's get into it. Here's our data, three tables. The first one shows the transactions. Antoinette ordered 10 vanilla scented candles. She's on the Wednesday number two route and that driver is Ariel. And let's say we want two questions answered. One, how many candles, no matter the scent, are being sent on Thursday and show them by the route or driver. Second, how many total pies per day, no matter the route or the flavor? Our instinct would tell us split some columns, do some merges, refresh, move stuff around, make some more merges. That is not sexy because we have a lot of other questions that we would like to answer but not if we have to make a whole bunch of queries and keep hitting that refresh button. Now I'm gonna move kind of fast here because we really want to talk about the data model and Power Query. We want to get to the piece where we cut the cake, just like the average white band said, cut the cake. Give me a little piece, baby, you know what I mean. All right, the data is already in tables. Here, our table, let's look at this table design. All right, this is the orders table routes table drivers table got to make my queries data table slash range split this column highlight split column by delimiter i want to split it by space hyphen space at each occurrence okay call this item And this detail. Close and load to. Add to the data model and only create connection. OK. Next. From table slash range. I'm going to duplicate this. Duplicate column. I'm going to split this by the hyphen okay I don't need this remove call this day mm. close and load to add the data model only create connection okay now the drivers from table slash range. Close and load two. Add the data model, only create connection. Okay. Now I do wanna go back and get that orders. Right click, load two. I wanna load it to a table on a new worksheet. Okay. Now here's the next thing we do. Go to Power Pivot. Manage. Diagram view. There are the three tables. We want to link route and route. Orders and name. Now let's close this. Okay. 
Now let's add a pivot table. We're inside here. Insert pivot table. Put it on a new worksheet. We don't need this queries and connections pane anymore. Get rid of it. More tables. To use multiple tables in your analysis, yes. Good. Now we see our tables. Let's answer the first question. How many candles, no matter the scent, are being sent on Thursday by driver or route? Here are our orders. And we want item because we just want candles. And then from this table, we want route. Put that in columns. Then we need count in our values. We only want candles. Okay. And we want Thursday by route. 14 candles for route one, 20 candles for route two. The second question, how many total pies per day. Let's go back to routes. Get rid of route. Bring in day. Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Now we need pies. Okay. A total of 50 pies. Let's see if we can verify that. Go back to our source data and then sort. Look at pies. I'm going to highlight. Bang. 50 pies. We can put in our flavor details. Go back to orders. Detail. Put that under here. That's five key lime pies for Thursday and 17 total banana cream pies. Now see, that is the sexy part about bringing together Power Query and a data model. We've got so many questions that we can answer right from this interface. We don't have to make a whole bunch of different joins and keep refreshing. And where is the part where we cut the cake? Let's go back there. That's worth seeing again. Data model. Diagram view. Cut the cake. All right, sexy people, we did it. And as the average white man said, tastes so good, don't spread it all around. No, 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 no. Not when it tastes this good. See you in the next video.